What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Alaska Anchorage Seawolves Dynasty. Season 6 going into Season 7. This is the off-season video. Uh, before you check out this one, go ahead and watch that uh, National Championship game against Texas. Uh, really close game, closer than I thought. Uh, closer than it should have been, but it doesn't matter. We came out with a victory. And uh, you see here, Coach Jason Brown, back-to-back -back National Championships. 14-0 and 0 seasons. So 2018 Mountain West champs, BCS champs. 2019 Pac-12 champs, BCS champs. Uh, overall, we are 60 and 20 at uh, UAA. Our security is safe as it should be a plus prestige. Um, so this video we will do off season. Um, so recruiting, position changes, training results, and then the next video <clears throat> we will do the preseason and uh, the first game. So I'm thinking uh, this year will be our last season, season seven, uh, with the, with this dynasty, this rebuild. So I think the rebuild is a success. Uh, but I, I want to go for a three-peat. Yes, we are going to stay in the Pac-12. I'm not going to change conferences, but I will beef up our non-conference schedule a little bit. Let me know who you want to see on the schedule uh, in our non-conference games. Uh, let me know in the comment section who you want to see me play. Uh, so I'm going for a three-peat. And the biggest question is our offensive line and um, our quarterback. So coaching carousel, we will skip it. Let's go to players leaving and let's see if we have anybody declaring for the draft. All right, players leaving. Okay, so it looks like uh, Thurman Anthony pro draft projected first round. Okay, great. Um, and we have... Uh, Wow, so Deval Parker is declaring for the draft. And so is Johnny Shirley. So um, projected round three and projected round six. I think we can uh, bump up his draft stock. I want him to stay. So let's see if we can get Johnny Shirley to stay. Um, ooh, this is tough, man. We're going we're gonna to guarantee a national title. I want to come back play for another year. Heck yeah, I don't mind. Come on back, Johnny Shirley. That's my dude right there. I only had to guarantee my national championship. No pressure, Coach Brown. Deval Parker. Persuasion chance. Very high. Promise that he will not regret staying to get his college degree. My parents feel bad for me to stay and finish up my degree. Yes. All right, DP Stan. All right. That makes me happy. But we do have to, uh, we got to, apparently we have to win a natty for Johnny Shirley. Uh, but I'm happy for Thurman Anthony. And uh, coaching changes. It looks like we have our offense coordinator and our defensive coordinator left. So let's see who our new coordinators are. Looks like uh, Graham Harrell left. Our new coach is Matt Campbell. Awesome. And our defensive coordinator is Jeff Castillo. I don't know where he came from. Uh, but welcome. So I will bump those guys up. And um, let's advance to transfer request. All right, so transfer request. See if we get anybody from the portal. We do not. Uh, draft results. Let's see where Thurman Anthony went in the draft. He went in the first round. So congrats, our first uh, uh, first time everyone anyone from uh, UAA went to the, the, the draft first round. So congrats to Anthony. But here at recruiting, this is our recruiting class so far. Uh, we end up getting uh, Antoine Garrett, strong safety, Kelvin Johnson, the number two tack, tackle, number 20 guard, Travis Smith. Washington 78 overall, Jonathan Miles 77 overall, Andre Jones 77 overall, Jacob High 74, Cantrell 73, and we end up filling out uh, the rest of our board with a couple guards and a D tackle and a wide receiver. So pretty solid class, I think. Um, we end up getting a strong safety, which we really needed. He might start right away, we'll see. But these tackle and guards are gonna come in and play right away, so that's really exciting. Uh, Brock Washington, a nice corner that's going to come in four-star. So 
you know, we're starting to get some really, really good recruits. Um, so season six, I'm only hoping to get better. And uh, we only have a couple of guys left on our board. I think Jonathan Taylor, I'm just going to put all my points on him because I would rather have a five-star wide receiver. Sean Kelly, uh, he's going to be a running back, and I don't I don't need him. We're, we're pretty deep at running back, I think. Uh, we have some other athletes that can come in and play running back as well. So I'm going to go all in on Jonathan Taylor. Uh, he's a four or a five-star wide receiver. <clears throat> Top classes, I, w I think we're in the top 10. Yeah, we're number six overall. So, I mean, you can't really ask for much better than that. Um, so we are a five-star prestige school now. And I want to see where we're at. 91 overall, 91 offense, 92 defense. I'm, I'm hoping that gets better in the offseason. But we are losing a lot. Uh, we had some really good seniors on our team. And we're going to lose a decent amount. So I'm hoping uh, we can make up for that offensive production that we're losing. So... Let's uh, advance the week and hope. hopefully we get Jonathan Taylor. All right, so we end up getting Jonathan Taylor, which I expected. Uh, Sean committed to Oregon. That's okay. Signed top class in the conference, top 10 class. So signing day, let's see where we ended up. We actually fell. We went from six to eight. Still a top 10 class. I'm really happy with uh, the way it turned out. Um, so let's go to position changes, which is my favorite. All right, so we are here at position changes. The biggest issue in the offseason now is quarterback. Thurman Anthony left. So I don't know. Do I want to roll Jeremy Thompson? I'm not very confident. And Jeremy Thompson moving forward, leading our team. He's a 79 overall. Let's get these athletes out of the way. We have three of them. So let's see, Andre Jones. Looks like he's going to be a 77 running back. So let's put him at running back. Jonathan Miles, another 77 running back. Wow. Hmm. Another running back. We just have a lot of backs here. Wide receiver 71, tight end 71. Hmm. Let's see where our tight ends are. I guess it never hurts to have depth at tight end. Yeah, let's move him to tight end to get some more depth. Let's see if we can get someone better than Jeremy Thompson. I, I don't know. I'm just, just not a fan. Uh, running back's pretty much set. We have a lot of depth. Uh, obviously, Parker's going to be our guy. Fullback. We don't really use our fullback that much. Wide receiver. We lost a lot, but we have some guys uh, coming back that are pretty solid here. So, Darren Scott is one of those guys where I think he could really excel at quarterback, even though he's a 75 overall quarterback. I really want to put him at quarterback because I originally recruited him as a nice scrambler dual threat. I, I, I just don't know. I kind of want to leave him at wide receiver. You know what I can do, though? I can always put him at quarterback. Cancel. Let's put him at quarterback and see what he looks like. All right, so speed. He's faster than Thompson. His excels better. Let's look at throwing power and throwing accuracy. Accuracy, he's better in power he's better so I don't know why he's worse than Thompson you know I like that I'm, I'm gonna let him battle that out I like Darren Scott as, as a quarterback 6'3 226 and now it makes me feel better that we did get that five-star wide receiver um, and I'm really confident in our in our wide receiver core we pretty solid here so no worry there. 
All right, left tackle, 79. Right tackle, nothing. Okay, so let's move another guy over. Right tackle. Left guard, 78. Oh, we need a center. Okay, so left guard, let's move him. Yes, let's move him to center. Right guard, 75. He will uh, train. So looks like our right tackle is a little low. And we're going to have two true freshmen starting on the left side of our line. But that's okay. Looks like we're going to have to get another tackle in here. He's a 71. Mm. Let's sort of roll with that. Uh, our ends are set. Ronald Simpson... And uh, Reggie Crowder, it looks like we need more depth at right end. So let's move him over to right end. D tackles are set. Juan Woods, Matt Gonzalez. We're wow, we're super deep at um at D end or D tackle. I'm gonna uh, yeah, I'm gonna end up cutting some of these guys. We don't need we don't need to be this deep. Uh, 84, 82, so that's pretty good. Left outside linebacker bends. Uh, middle Morrow will hold it down. And then we got Dustin Sanders as a 77 as a right. So let's move some people over here. See if he's a better. No. <laughs> I'm trying to see if these guys are better on the line. But no, they're. All right, corner. Uh, Apollo Prince is back. He's a senior. He'll be number one. And uh, Brock Washington, a newcomer that's coming. He will start as a true freshman. And then we, we're pretty deep, but they're not that good. They're all 60. So those two guys are going to hold it down at the corner position. Free safety, Johnny Shirley is our man. I'm so glad that we kept him. And then strong safety, really important position uh, for our defense. Brian Harris obviously will stay. And um, Scott Smith, it looks like uh, it might be the number two or, or Garrett. So it looks like 79 strong safety. Someone's telling me about Shirley and moving positions. But I, I like him at free. I, 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 just, I just do. He's 80, he's 80 free. Okay. Hmm. I think I'm just going to roll with this, guys. I, I think... Pretty easy this season, pretty cut and dry. The only thing I'm I'm really concerned about is our quarterback position this year. I'm really gonna miss Anthony, but I'm also excited that we're gonna be able to scramble a little bit, run some read option, maybe some triple option. And I think I think Darren Scott might be that guy. Let me know what you guys think. Thompson, Scott, Vickery, I who do you wanna see? Who do you wanna see? I think Scott, like I said, I originally recruited him as a quarterback. I think he's going to be awesome. So worst case scenario, I can always move Scott to wide receiver. No big deal. But I want to see how he does at quarterback. Um, let me know what you think about that. So uh, I'm, going to go, I'm going to roll with this. I'm going to keep my changes. I want to see how they train. And we'll go from there. Scott moved up five. Speed one. Excel one. I mean, look how fast this guy is. I want to see throwing throw power one and accuracy three so they both uh got better the same but i don't know why thompson is a little better probably his awareness i think his awareness is better so that's why he uh 
He's a higher overall. Uh, Devar Par Deval Parker, a 97. Uh, he went up six points. Acceleration is a 99. Huh. All right. Let's look at wide receiver. Bravos, uh, Demarcus Moore, uh, Brian Renfro, and Y Brooks on the 80s. Uh, tight end, Ducey Parker went up five points. Uh, John Gaither went up four. Darius Wright went up five. There's a line. Uh, Abraham Wallace went up six points. All right. Chris Mason is an 80. And Sean Harris, 75. Left end, Ronald Simpson is a stud. 92, 92 overall sophomore. That is awesome. Uh, Reggie Crowder, 90 overall sophomore. D tackle, 90. D tackle for Juan Woods, 87. Matt Gonzalez is a sophomore, so he's going to be at least a 95 when he graduates. Uh, Ben's 89 junior. He's one of our starters. Uh, JJ Morrow, uh, 85. He's another one of our starters. And then Dustin Sanders and Atkins kind of are going to battle out for that uh, third linebacker position. Uh, let's look, take a look at our corners. 93 overall for Apollo Prince. He went up four. Uh, Dwayne Edwards trained, even though Washington will be our, our second corner, but he's coming as a freshman, so he didn't really get a chance to train. 99 overall awareness. That's solid. Free safety, Johnny Shirley went up three points. Um, obviously, he's a stud. Strong safety, Brian Harris went up four, 87 overall, uh, 90, uh, 93 excel, 93 speed. His awareness is 99 too, so that's good. Uh, Scott Smith, um, 83 overall, 88 awareness. So I, I'm really happy where our guys landed up. Uh, Tim Miller and then Joel Morris. And that's it, man. I, I'm excited. This is a pretty solid group. We're missing a lot of offensive production with Anthony and, and Thomas, but I think we have some guys that are going to come in and step up. So, um, All right, let's cut some dudes. All right, so it looks like we're under the – our roster size is not – we're not even at 70 yet, uh, but I think I'm going to cut some D tackles be, just because we're so – yeah. We're, we're pretty deep, and honestly, I just don't need these guys. Just cutting some dudes, and um, we'll leave our roster at 65 moving forward. Let's see where we are next. We are custom conferences. I won't change anything. I'm going to leave everything the exact same. And uh, So we'll, we'll advance to this. Skip over this. All right, guys, so that's the off-season video. Very short and to the point, which is okay. Uh, so preseason 2020, it's weird seeing 2020 up there. Um, going into season seven, uh, we're ranked number three in the nation to start out. Um, like I said, next video, we'll get the preseason. I'll run through um, some of the new players, uh, schedules, and stuff like that. And uh, like I said earlier, let me know uh, who you want to see on the schedule. Um, kind of looking at some of these top ten, top tier teams to make it a little challenging, although I thought it was pretty challenging last season in some games. So um, as always, smash that like button, subscribe if you're brand new, and um, Wait for that next video, and I will talk to you guys soon.